like it. Lots of great weather to stay inside and watch basketball. We gotta get, you know, yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Just don't even think about it because it's exactly. it's not gonna get better outside, friends. Here's a live look around town right now. Pretty smooth sailing on the roadways. I think it's the secondary streets that we have more issues. Highways are running fairly smoothly. There's a few a little bang ups here and there, but you can see there's no major delays being shown on the map. There's the winter weather advisory. Here's the kicker. Notice it is Saturday afternoon and evening into Sunday midday. We're gonna break down the timing of the snow when it starts when it ends and how much could be left behind but all of it is a cold air wind driven event and we are already feeling that colder air pushing into northeast Ohio our temperatures are now in the 30s to right around 40 degrees and will continue to dive back radar is quiet right now we started the day with rain we're now in a bit of a lull as far as the rain goes but it's this area up here to the north that we have coming our way and it's not just clouds and showers but it's cold air and some very chilly air, not just at the surface, but just above the surface. And when you put it on just the right trajectory, we end up with snow. We're not alone in this, though. All of these blue and pink areas, those are advisories for the lake effect snow that is going to be ramping up. And again, that brings us full circle now to our winter weather advisory. I think the snow chances will be picking up through the day tomorrow for accumulating snow. And then tomorrow night is really when we start to see uh, that snow becoming more of an issue. Here's your National Design Mark hour by hour forecast. Rest of this evening is very quiet. We just have clouds. You may see a few breaks in the overcast. 630 in the morning tomorrow, west to southwest winds, temperatures in the upper 20s, wind chills likely in the low 20s. Notice what happens by mid to late morning. We get a kick up in the scattered snow showers, a little bit of a line, and then back to the west, you can see a more pronounced westerly wind. This is a secondary front. It's that second push of cold air that comes in. And once that happens, we're probably going to get a few peaks of sun, but more notably that locks us into the cold air. And as the winds start to line up, we are going to see lake effect snow get going by afternoon and into the evening. That west wind will favor our primary snow belt areas east of Cleveland. But as the night goes on, you can see how those bands start to get together. As the night goes on and we get into Sunday morning, you can see how that starts to shift south a little bit. So we do have kind of a, a more widespread chance for the accumulating snow, but by and large, the best accumulations will be where that west to east band sets up Saturday night. And right now that looks to be out in the heart of the snow belt. Not looking for significant snow. We're talking about maybe three to six inches on the high side of things by the time all is said and done. And that would be in our definite primary areas. But outside of that, we could get a slushy coating. And on top of all of that, we also have wind going on. So I think that's why the National Weather Service went ahead and kicked out that uh, winter weather advisory. Union Home Mortgage forecast, though, things get better from here, friends. We have a chilly day tomorrow. Great day to stay in and watch the basketball recover from your shenanigans tonight. We have temperatures in the mid 30s with morning snow chances giving way to some sunshine by late day Sunday. Spring will arrive no matter what at 5 24 p.m. on Monday. The good news is it looks like the weather forecast is going to catch up with the calendar. 48, very seasonable for this time of the year, and we get to see some sunshine. Clouds a bit on the increase on Tuesday. Temperatures are increasing too, and ultimately by the end of next week, we are talking about 60s with chances for thunderstorms back in the forecast, Jay. All right, at least the numbers are trending in the right direction.